Hey everyone, so in today's video I am happy to announce it is a Primark haul! <laughs> so it was a total surprise and um, we hadn't planned it. What happened was yesterday my family and I were travelling from England back to Milan and my partner and I thought, do you know what, we've still got some money, we're in the neighbourhood, let's go and have a skeet at Primark. So before I begin, it's not a big one because, like I said, we were limited, we'd been travelling all day, so we were tired and we had our daughter with us. Um, so we decided we'd go for a bit and we'd just spend a little bit. I didn't have much of a fund, which typically I saw everything that I wanted. So we had a little chat and we'll probably go back because there's a lot more that I'm after. I'm what, I didn't even look upstairs and I wanted to look. I'm wanting to get some spring, summer stuff for my daughter's wardrobe because hers is all much, most of it is for winter and so is mine. So I do want to go back and get all the spring, summer stuff, which oh, I saw loads yesterday. But I am happy with what I've got and I hope that you will be happy to see what I've got, even though it's only a short one. Although, can anyone ask, answer this? How do you shop in Primark for an hour and be satisfied? I can't do it. I can't go in Primark and have like an hour, an hour and a half and come out feeling satisfied because I came out and yes, I was satisfied with the bits that I picked, but I saw loads walking out of the shop and I was like, oh, I want that, oh, I want that. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get in and show you what I did get. So I'm gonna start with the accessory bits. Oh, and also I saw loads of makeup stuff that I wanna try, but I didn't really get much. So anyway, moving on. Okay, so I'm going to start with this. This is the primer water and help skin uh, prep skin, sorry, for makeup application. And this was three euro. So I'm just curious to try this. I've heard people talk about it. So, although I'm sure I picked up the setting spray. Maybe I put it back down. That'll be for next trip. And I also, um, everyone is always going on about these fake nails. Now, I normally, I love doing my nails and normally, I don't know if you can see them, these are like the foil wraps. I normally do my nails myself only because I can't afford to keep paying to have it done professionally even though it saddens me and I can't wear them as long as I used to because with my two-year-old she's running around and it's just not useful for me. Uh, but sometimes I get a bit fed up because usually I either have to paint them and you've got the faff of letting them dry and then they chip and that just annoys me. So I thought I'm going to give these fake nails a go. Everyone goes on about them, although I am a bit concerned because I don't want to ruin my nails. But I saw this colour and I thought it was really interesting colour. And these were 150 because I usually always stick with the same colours. It's usually red or the neutral colours or like the pinky tone. So I just really was drawn to this colour, although I might have to file them down a bit because they might still be a bit too long for me. And these are the Squaletto ones, which I think they're just the square tips. So I'm curious to try them, although I'm not sure with the nails, the glue whether that'll be any good, but I'm going to give it a go. I also, as you know, as you're paying, they always put these little bits to entice you. Well, they got me this time. So I just got these two masks, and one is a soothing Dead Sea mask for one euro, and the other one is a calming heat therapy mask, and that was also one euro. And I thought I'd just give them a go and see how I get on. I might like it. And last in accessory wise, I just got this coins purse. Um, not much to say about it. I do. I I like to keep my. I have a big, massive um, purse, but I like it does not really um, useful to keep your coins and stuff. So I keep a separate coins purse, and mine's looking a bit rotten and disgusting. 
and they had this one. They did have it in white as well, which I nearly got, but then I thought, oh, it was just going to get so dirty. And this one was €2.50. Right, so moving on to clothes, the bits that I did get. I got this um, beautiful cami top. I love these, and yes, I am still on my red obsession. I can't help it. But I thought this one would get me ready for that spring, summertime. I love the pattern. And if any of you have seen my new look haul, you'll see that I mentioned a top I tried on similar to this. It was a peplum style with um, quarter length sleeves. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. And I had to return it because I felt like it was a bit too more dressy for me. But so I saw this one and I'll probably get loads more of these because I always wear these. They're so good, they're so flattering. Just throw on a pair of jeans and um, strappy heels or strappy flats and you're good to go. And you can even put like a light jacket or blazer over them and it just looks so effortless. That's how I like to wear them. And these ones were five euro, so you can't go wrong with that. The next, I just got this, again, trying to get into the spring, summer theme. And again, I love shirts. I got this white shirt and it's got this embellishment. And I only got this, to be fair, because it was in the sale. I don't know how much it was originally, but I got it for five euro. And they only had a few of these left, so I had to get this size. But I quite prefer it, and again, I love these just with some ripped um, jeans and strappy shoes and you're good to go. So I absolutely love stuff like that. Plus, I do have a gorgeous pink coat I could put over this so it's not too thick. So looking forward to that. I also saw this top, which I love these off the shoulder Bardo style tops. Although I am a bit concerned that this one might be too cropped for me. Hopefully not, especially if I wear high-waisted jeans. Um, I wish I could wear, I love it on everyone else. I wish I could wear crop tops, but I don't have the stomach for that. And this one was eight euro. I already have black. So I just wanted to, and it's got the frilling detail on the sleeve as well. And I just thought that'd be a really nice styled with jeans again or you could dress it up as well with a skirt and I just think they're very versatile and they're very flattering for everyone. I love showing my shoulders. And I also got these, now I didn't try any of this stuff on so I am hoping that everything is going to look good which hopefully you'll see on the on the pictures that I'll insert. Um, but I am obsessed with collots. I already have a bit of a collection and I saw the, I don't have this colour and I just saw these and I, I'm not usually a pink kind of girl but I like to wear pink every now and again and I think I can get away with it. Anyway, I don't have this colour and it's more like, I don't know if you can see but it's more like a salmony pink. So I think I prefer more of a darker pink rather than a paler pink on me personally. Um, but I thought I could rock these. Sorry it's creased, it's been sat in the bag all night. <laughs> but for 10 euro I thought bargain, even if you only wear it a couple of times, you're still getting your money's worth. Does anyone else do that? I like to know that I'm going to get my money's worth out of an item. And you've got this little tie here and it's a stretchy band as well. So. I just love them, I think they look great, and hopefully I can carry them off. And again, with my red obsession, I need to get out of this obsession, but again, the reason for this is because it was in the sale, and I just got this gorgeous floaty shirt, and I love shirts, again, you can just throw on a shirt with jeans, and I mean, you don't even in the summertime, because it's quite thin, um, you could just, wear it without a jacket as well and you still feel a bit more covered up if you want to. So like I said, this one used to be 13 euro and I got it for five. So that's why I got that one. And I love the pocket detail as well. So you can't go wrong with a shirt. 
And finally, and possibly my favourite, is this waterfall style jacket. And I just love the detail on the sleeves. Now, if anyone has seen my video, I think it was my uh, my favourites for 2017 or my winter favourites, something like that. Please go check it out. And um, you'll know that I admitted that I have a coat slash jacket addiction because I already have tons of jackets and coats but I have an addiction because I just can't help myself. Every time I see a jacket or a blazer, I am just like, yes, I need it. And to be fair, I wasn't looking for a jacket, but the reason I got this was because it was in the sale and you know you can't resist a sale. So I don't know what it was originally. Oh, I think it was 25 euro originally and I got it for 13. So, I mean, come on. And I don't actually have this colour. Now, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's actually like a, it's like that blue-grey. I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like purpley, bluey grey, if that makes any sense. And I just really, really liked it. And I think one of the reasons I have an obsession or an addiction, should I say, with jackets is because it's my, my favorite fashion is winter fashion. I, apart from the weather, I love wearing like really nice big coats and boots and a nice big thick roll neck jumper and hats. And if I could get away with wearing winter fashion in the summer, I would love that. That would be absolutely perfect for me. Although you'd sweat like a pig, but if you could, wear that and not get hot and sweaty, I would do that. And I also love the springtime because I love also wearing, being able to just go out and wear a pair of jeans with strappy shoes, a nice top, even a strappy top and a, and a jacket like this because it's very thin or a blazer and not having to worry about a coat and all the other layers. So I love that and I think that's why I love jackets and blazers so much and that's why I always gravitate towards them so yeah this is my final piece and it's a nice long piece and I love the waterfall style so that's everything I got like I said it's not much but I am hoping to go back and get a lot more for my spring summer wardrobe even though I prefer the spring just because I think in the summer you don't get away with as much do you you know, like if you have too much to um, eat, you can just tuck it into your jeans and cover it up with a nice big thick jumper or a nice floaty shirt or something. But when the summer, you've actually got to get your butt into gear and get moving, do your exercise. But I think that's all it is. I'm lazy. But anyway, I'm rambling again. So please keep a lookout for further videos and I will see you again soon. Bye.